Lope K. Santos was a Filipino Tagalog language writer and former senator of the Philippines. He is best known for his 1906 socialist novel, Banag at Sikat and to his contributions for the development of Filipino grammar and Tagalog orthography. Lope K. Santos was born in Pasig, province of Manila, as Lope Santos y Canseco to Lady Slo Santos, a native of Pasig and Victorina Canseco, a native of San Mateo on September 25, 1879. His father was imprisoned during Philippine Revolution because Spanish authorities found copies of Joseph Copyright Risel's Naulai Mitanjel and Ancalayan in his possession. Santos was sent to Escola Normal Superior de Maestros for education and later finished schooling at Colegio Filipino. During Philippine Revolution of 1896, Santos joined revolutionaries. By the time of the death of his mother, she requested Lope to marry Simeona Salazar. Marriage happened on February 10, 1900 and they were blessed with three children namely Lacambini, Luel Harty and Maker Orr. He pursued law at the Academia de la Jurisprudencia then at Escola de Reco de Manila where he received Bachelor of Arts degree in 1912. In late 1900, Santos started writing his own newspaper Ankal Iwanagan. This was also the time when socialism becomes an emerging idea in world ideology. When Joseph Copyright Ma. Dominador Goma Copyright Z was charged and sentenced by the Supreme Court of Sedition and Illegal Association against the government in 1903, Goma Copyright Z's labor group Union Obrera Democratica Filipina was absorbed by Santos. The group was renamed as Union del Trabajo de Filipinas, but was later dissolved in 1907. In 1903, Santos started publishing fragments of his first novel. Banagat Sikat on his weekly labor magazine Muling Paksilang and was completed in 1906. When published in book form, Santos Banagat Sikat was then considered as the first socialist-oriented book in the Philippines which expounded principles of socialism and Sikh labor reforms from the government. The book was later made an inspiration for the assembly of the 1932 Socialist Party of the Philippines and then the 1946 group Hukbalup. Santos became expert in Dupluhan, a form of poetical debate during that time. Dupluhan can be compared to Balagtasan which became popular half a century ago before Santos' time. He also founded Sampagta, weekly lifestyle magazine. In early 1910s, he started his campaign on promoting a national language for the Philippines, where he organized various symposia, lectures and headed numerous departments for national language in leading Philippine universities. In 1910, he was elected as governor of the province of Rizal under the Nacionalista Party. In 1918, he was appointed as the first Filipino governor of the newly reservated Nueva Vizier until 1920. Consequently, he was elected to the 5th Philippine Legislature as senator of the 12th senatorial district representing provinces having a majority of non-Christian population. He was the primary author of Philippine Legislature Act No. 2946 which enacted November 30 every year as Bonifacio Day, honoring Andrew Copyright S. Bonifacio. In 1940, Santos published the first grammar book of the Filipino language. Balarilla Ng Wikang Pambansa which was commissioned by the Syrian Ng Wikang Pambansa. The next year, he was appointed by President Manuel L. Quezon as director of SWF until 1946. When the Philippines became a member of the United Nations he was selected to translate the 1935 Constitution for UNESCO. He was also appointed to assist for the translation of inaugural addresses of Presidents Jose P. Laurel and Manuel A. Roxas. In early 1960s, he underwent liver operations due to complication. Santos died on May 1, 1963. Works The works of Santos include the following, Banagat Sikat, 1903 Euro 06, first literary novel in Filipino language that incorporates socialist ideas and the works of the United Associations of Laborers. A.J. Florin G. Florin G. Florin 1912. Poor Giagira is a form of early 20th century gambling. Kundana Luan. No Blang Tagalog Kafa, 1927, Santos Second Literary Novel. Tina equal or more than NG Pakwe Pa W Zarka Se Selna plus or minus G Pa Mighty Kang Tagalog, 
1938, Pusot Diwa, three-volume book collection of chosen poems of Santos during American period. Sinokar. Okoni C. 60 Sagot Na Mga Tula, 1946, collection of philosophical poems. Mga Hamak Na Day Kila 60 Tula Cent, 1950, humorous collection of war period poems. Marka Bagung Balarilla? Mga Puna at Payozar Saraling Wakar, 1951, written in cooperation with Syrian Ng Wikang Pambansa director Cyril O. H. Panganibanama Ng Balarilla Ng Pilipinas. References Lope K. Santos, Lope K. Santos, Father of the Filipino Grammar, Fighting for National Identity, Herbert, Patricia. Southeast Asia, Languages and Literatures, A Select Guide, 1989, Panganiban, Jose Villa. Panatican NG Pilipinas, 1982, San Juan, Epifanio. Introduction to Modern Filipino Literature, 1974, Solo, Alfredo. Communism in the Philippines, An Introduction, 1990, Anoang Baba. Tula slash Lope K. Santos. See also. Norberto Romualdez.